Hey Pixel people, Professor Pixel is back with another Pixel Flix tutorial. Today I'll be going over the pixel art animation basics in Photoshop of using layers and frames. I did a tutorial earlier on layers which I'll put an annotation to, but I got several questions so I wanted to go a little more in depth and clarify a few things. I'll use this Pikmin pixel art as an example, and we'll just focus on one Pikmin for now. This is a very simple two frame animation. But let's just start with the first frame and first layer. So now we just have one layer and one frame. Now I'll make a second frame by bringing up the drop down options from the right arrow of the animation window and selecting new frame. Now I want to be very clear about this. There are only two ways to modify this one layer from frame to frame. I can change its position and I can change its opacity. I can move this layer anywhere from one frame to the next, and I can even move it off the canvas in any direction. Just remember, if you move the layer in the first frame, it will affect all the frames that come after it. The first frame always dictates what will happen in the frames that follow it. As for opacity, you can change that as much as you want from frame to frame as well. You can turn the opacity all the way down to 0% opacity so it is invisible, and you can make it any percentage opaque so it is only partially visible. And these are the only two ways you can modify this one layer from frame to frame, position and opacity. Now some were confused on modifying a layer from frame to frame. For example, if I move the Pikmin's arms up in the second frame, its arms will be moved up in the first frame as well. That's because I'm not modifying the frame, I'm modifying this layer. The frames can only pull information from your existing layers, so if you want to change something about this layer other than the position or opacity, you'll have to either duplicate this layer or copy and paste it to make a new layer that you can modify. For example, if I want this Pikmin's arms to move, I'll duplicate the Pikmin 1 layer and rename it Pikmin 2 so I can easily identify it. Whenever you duplicate a layer, it will appear on the first frame and all frames after it. So go to the first frame and make the second layer invisible by clicking on the eye icon to the left of the layer. Now go to your second frame and make the first layer invisible and make the second layer visible by clicking on the eye icon box to the left of the layer. Now you can make your modifications to the second layer so it animates from frame to frame. So remember, you can move or change a layer's opacity from frame to frame, but if you want to make modifications, duplicate or copy and paste it and keep your original layer. And those are the basics of using frames and layers for animation in Photoshop. If you have any questions, feel free to message me or drop a comment below. Thanks for watching. Click the annotations for more Pixelflix tutorials. Please like, share, and subscribe. There are new videos every Friday, plus bonus videos.